Welcome to Beyond L&D, presented by NorthPass. I'm your host, Peter, and today I'm joined by Chance House, the head of technician know-how at Pulse. Thanks for joining us today, Chance. Happy to be here. So why don't you tell me a little bit about you and how you empower your contractors at Pulse? I started as a technician with Pulse um, and you know, bringing a unique experience to the customer um, was very valuable um, to us then and you know now working inside of the, the office uh, with Pulse and our, our other team members um, just looking at how we can duplicate that experience to our you know thousands of technicians that we have on the platform. And how long did you work as a technician before you eventually moved up in your role and started empowering other technicians? Uh, I was a technician for about six months or so um, before uh, you know I, uh, there was an opportunity um, for the role that I am in now and um, you know from from that point on it was you know all, all the materials and all the content and you know the entire experience of being a technician has you know changed drastically from that point on. So being a technician for six months, you obviously know the resources, the information, the knowledge that you need to be successful. Sure. How do you use that uh, institutional knowledge to um, better empower and enable uh, contractors moving forward? So it's it's just extremely important to have um, you know one the content available. Um, so that's one thing that you know we try to strive really hard for is you know just. Um, having good materials, having good videos, having you know um, our brand recognition uh, within the, the the content that we we have ability for our technicians to view and see, um, you know. So at any point they can go on to North Pass and and look at that content. Um, you know, even if they're at a customer's house, um, which you know we've seen in the field, which has you know just been super successful. So with Pulse being an on-demand platform, the people that you're empowering are a little bit different. They're on the go all the time. Um, how do you make sure that those people have the content where and when that they need it? So we find it's extremely important to think about the little things. Um, you know, the entire customer experience is very important to us. So, you know, how you approach a customer's house, how you, um, you know, knock on the door. Um, you know, those are, you know, just examples, but, you know, thinking about those, those tiny things to make the overall experience, um, you know, a valuable one um, and easy for the technician, right? So they don't have to think about the, the little stuff. They just take care of what they're really good at, which is, you know, the skills, um, you know, on their platform, whether it's phone repair, or TV mounting. So. so when you're creating content to support your contractors, uh, when you're trying to support them with all these little things, that requires a lot of content. How do you create all that content? And do you have any tips and tricks for creating content quick and like creating quality content and just content creation tips in general? Generally, we try and follow a path of, you know, pick the important things, uh, you know, the things that actually matter to a technician. So, um, you know, when you look at a lot of manuals, um, historically, um, especially when it comes to like appliance repair and stuff, there's a lot of, you know, useless information. So what we do is we take, take you know, all that useless information in and then create content that you know makes sense to the technician the the stuff that they're actually going to come across if it's you know not something that they're going to come across then we you know um, we have other support for them um, at a later time so um, it's just picking the important pieces and, and putting it together essentially yeah like you said old school manuals can be really cumbersome sure. old boring yeah. Do you kind of break that down, like you said, you choose the important things, but do you kind of break it down into bite-sized pieces and give it to people in more digestible ways through different content to make it easier? Yeah, exactly. So we do a lot of uh, mix of videos and, uh, you know, slideshow type materials, um, you know, which helps, you know, you're not watching an hour long video, but you're also not looking at 20 pages of documents. So um, we do a healthy mix of both. Starting as a technician and uh, coming to the place where you are now, where you're supporting other technicians, what would you tell a younger version of yourself who's just getting started out in uh, the L&D field? I would say the, the content never has to be perfect. Um, it just has to be readable. It has to be, you know, like you said, digestible, um, which is extremely important. Um, you know, my, myself, I'm, I consider myself a perfectionist, um, which is good and bad. Um, and when it comes to the content that other people are viewing, um, you know, that's not always the most important uh, piece of it. It's just, uh, you know, giving, giving information um, that would be important to them is the most valuable piece. So it doesn't have to be perfect. Just 
give them quality content. So. And the other thing is you can always improve your content. There's analytics, and exactly. if you don't have a baseline, there's nothing to measure, there's nothing to yeah. improve. So like yeah. you said, you're a perfectionist. How do you overcome that uh, being a perfectionist and just get something out there to measure? Yeah, um, so we've seen uh, it extremely helpful actually with North Pass's uh, analytics um, features is we're able to make quicker changes and that really helps us um, you know, as a platform or as a whole. Um, you know, when we make a, a sudden change to a quiz and then we notice that that, you know, change has affected our, the entire, um, you know, knowledge base of people coming on, um, you know, it's, it's good to make quick changes and, and being in uh, on-demand space, you have to make quick changes. You can't wait, um, you know, six months, 12 months to, to make these changes. You need to do them on the fly to grow with your business. Since you were pretty early on at Pulse, seeing how far Pulse has come as a company and where it's going in the future, what gets you excited about uh, Pulse moving forward? We, as a company, just see ourselves changing the entire service industry. Um, when you think of it right now, um, if you go to one of our competitors, I won't say their name, um, you know, you have to wait days, um, you know, even weeks to, to get an appointment. And just the fact that we're able to service customers same day, um, you know, even repair a lot of, uh, you know, the issues that we come across same day, um, that alone is very valuable to us. And, you know, just that on-demand, uh, you know, feel the, the technology that's empowering us to do this, um, you know, is incredible. And Sounds like what you're trying to do as a company is you're just trying to make everything easier. Easier for the consumer to book an appointment, easier for your technicians to go out and fix things. So. How do you help empower those people, make everything just a little bit more easy? If you go to our website and book an appointment, you can probably be done within 30 seconds. Um, and we consider that, uh, you know, or we take that same approach for our technicians. So um, we take care of all the cumbersome, you know, things that it is to own your own business. So um, the payments, uh, the customers, we, we find the customers, we give them to our technicians essentially. Um, you know, we, we take care of all the logistical stuff so they can just take care of what they do and what they love, um, which is really important for us because, you know, when our technicians are happy, our customers, uh, you know, are just as happy, if not more. So. Well, Chance, thanks for taking the time to sit down with us and tell us a little bit more about uh, the exciting things you're doing at Pulse. Yeah, thank you for having me.